As community members go through their first day under a shelter at home order, some child care facility owners struggle to understand what the future holds for their business. KSBY News reporter Alice Becerra is live in the newsroom to explain. Alice? Richard, one child care facility is saying that when it comes to their business, they are hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. At the beginning of this week, Evelyn Choto had 48 kids enrolled at her facility, but that has quickly changed after a shelter at home order was put in place in San Luis Obispo County. It started with 13 families who desperately still needed to go to work and couldn't find backup. It just um, became less and less to the point where we only had three kids at the end. And um, by Wednesday, it was only one. I think everybody just started uh having that fear. Choto says her facility is her family's only source of income. Although she worries about what the future may hold for her professionally, she felt that not charging parents through the remainder of their contracts for additional months was the right thing to do. Even though if it's in our contract, it just, it doesn't feel right, but it also, um, we feel the need to do our part to remain closed to avoid um, spreading anything. Some of the parents who use Choto's facilities say they feel for her situation and are willing to try and find ways to help. My husband and I are both really lucky being essential workers. Our pay hasn't stopped at all. So I think about people like Evelyn and who provide essential services to us the rest of the year. So we've considered if we could pay tuition like ahead of time, like two or three months in the future to help her cover whatever she needs to now. Choto says that while she appreciates some parents' generosity, she understands that even that might not be able to cover all of the hardships. Our backup plan is just um, to, to be able to save the businesses, to be able um, to use our cards to pay off our bills. Like, I don't want to put that pressure on parents. While we do have parents, they're like, hey, we'll still pay, pay full tuition. Like, it's it just doesn't feel right. Choto also says she understands the need to make safety a top priority because her two-year-old daughter has respiratory problems. Live in the newsroom, I'm Alice Becerra, KSBY News. All right, Alice, thank you. There are some child care facilities that will remain open for those that are part of essential businesses. For more information on emergency child care, you can head to KSBY.com.